What is going on guys? If you had the choice of building the perfect NFL roster by taking one player from each team, you'd have a million paths to choose from. How do you only select one guy from a star-studded team like the Kansas City Chiefs, Baltimore Ravens, or New Orleans Saints? And who could you possibly choose from a bottom feeder team like the Jacksonville Jaguars? Let's just say where there's a will, there's a way. Without further ado, we present our construction of the perfect NFL roster, using only one player from every team. All right, we're starting out with quarterbacks. It is the most valuable position in the game. So we'll begin building our perfect NFL roster around Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes has quickly established himself as the new face of the NFL. Tom Brady, move over. The $503 million man went from throwing 50 touchdowns and an MVP award to a Super Bowl 54 championship and Super Bowl MVP honors. He's in a class of his own right now, and it'd be foolish of us to try building a perfect roster without the league's best player. But of course, every team must have a capable backup quarterback. You never know when you'll need insurance. And that brings us to Tua Tungavailoa of the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins drafted the Alabama star with the fifth overall pick in the 2020 draft. If it weren't for a season-ending hip injury in 2019, Tua could have been the first overall pick. Tungavailoa has a ridiculous all-around skill set, and it would help tremendously if he learned behind Mahomes for a year or two. Plus, we could use Tungavailoa in Wildcat and Trick Plays. Give us Mahomes and Tua for a perfect NFL roster. Now we're set at QB. Lucky for Mahomes and Tungavailoa, they won't have to deal with this elite set of corner Backs. Led by New England Patriots superstar Stefan Gilmore. Gilmore has established himself as the NFL's top corner. He earned his second straight first team All-Pro selection in 2018. He won the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year. He takes away your team's number one receiver. And if that's not scary enough, what if we threw in Tredavious White of the Buffalo Bills? If it's not Gilmore, then White is probably the best corner in the game. He too was a first team All-Pro in 2019. Like Gilmore, he's quite the ball hawker who easily shuts down his half of the field. There isn't a more perfect cornerback duo than Gilmore and White, but who's gonna cover the slot? Enter Chris Harris Jr. The Los Angeles Chargers, who was widely regarded as one of the best slot corners of his generation. Harris experienced a down season in 2019, and he was asked to play outside more often than not. But in 2018, while playing mainly in the slot, he allowed just 23 receptions on 37 targets for zero touchdowns and a QB rating of 57.3. Now in LA, he's expected to move back to a slot position alongside stud corners Desmond King and Casey Hayward. Ooh making him the perfect addition to our super team. Yeah. I wonder how Harris, Gilmore, and White would stack up against our group of receivers. Led by, oh wait for it, Michael Thomas of the New Orleans Saints. Who else will we pick? If you're picking someone else, you suck. Not much to say here. The 2019 Offensive Player of the Year has led the league in receiving yards in back-to-back -back years. His 149 receptions in 2019 were just a single season record. Wow. Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. Even if teams focus on locking down Thomas, their secondary must also account for Atlanta Falcons superstar Julio Jones. My God, this guy's good. The best wide receiver of the 2010s, without a doubt. Jones and Thomas are rivals in the NFC South Division, but no doubt they'll give any defense a run for their money. Even if Jones has an off day, he's at least complimented by DeAndre Hopkins of the Arizona Cardinals. Diop is arguably the league's third best receiver, right behind Thomas and Jones. Nobody will understand why Bill O'Brien traded Hopkins for pennies on the dollar. That's all for another day. He's now a Cardinal and the number three receiver on our perfect NFL roster. But wait, we want to run plenty of four receiver sets here. So give us one more playmaking weapon in Detroit Lions Pro Bowler Kenny Galladay. Oh my Galladay. Galladay recorded his second straight 1,000 yard season in 2019. Even without Matthew Stafford for the entire second half of the year, Galladay finished with a league leading 11 touchdown receptions. The 2017 third round pick would be a terrible mismatch for opposing corners as our number four wideout. And he'd be our go-to guy in the red zone as well. It would take quite the secondary to stop these four guys, but our group of safeties might be up to the task. Led by Harrison Smith of the Minnesota Vikings, who's on his way to Canton at this point. He earned his fifth straight Pro Bowl selection in 2019. This elite ball hockey won't let opposing wideouts get past him so easily. The superstar free safety has been the anchor of Mike Zimmer's stingy secondary. But every Batman needs his Robin. And that's why we want Pittsburgh Steelers safety Minka Fitzpatrick. The 2018 first round pick out of Alabama, aka Conservatopia, gave a major boost to the Steelers secondary when he was brought over in a midseason trade for the Miami Dolphins. He had five interceptions, nine passes defended, and three fumble recoveries, and route to first team all pro honors, making him an easy choice for our squad. And just in case one of these two safeties needs a breather, no worries. We got the New York Jets' Marcus May ready to step in. The 2017 second round pick out of Florida has been largely overshadowed by former Jet safety Jamal Adams. But with Adams gone, it'll be May holding down the fort in New York secondary. 
And after allowing just nine receptions on the 20 passes thrown his way last season, we think he's up for the challenge. So our secondary now consists of Stefan Gilmore, Tredavious White, Chris Harris Jr., Harrison Smith, Micah Fitzpatrick, and Marcus May. Oh my God. Good luck throwing against these guys, although it might help if you have an elite pair of tight ends like we've got here. Starting with George Kittle of the San Fran 49ers. Without a doubt, the best tight end in all of football. He's not just dangerous as a pass catcher, but he's also downright elite as a blocker, with the opposing secondaries mainly focusing on our big four receivers. Kittle will get open with these short routes. He'll work as a security blanket and as a game changer in the red zone for Mahomes. Thank you very much. We want a second tight end to complement Kittle, which brings us to Darren Waller of the Las Vegas Raiders. He's coming off a breakout year with the Redskins, having recorded 90 catches for 1,145 yards and three touchdowns. Pretty tough to account for four elite wideouts and a pair of 1,000-yard tight ends. Am I right? Kittle and Waller would be a mismatch for most linebackers, although I think these guys would have something to say about that. Any dream set of linebackers must include Bobby Wagner of the Seattle Seahawks. No exceptions. No exceptions. With the Legion of Boom era long gone, Wagner is earning more respect and attention as a true game-changing force. Named to the 2010s All-Decade team, Wagner is simply the golden standard of middle linebackers. He checks off all the boxes as an elite tackler and run stopper, and pass rusher. His leadership skills cannot be stressed enough. While Wagner patrols the middle, Chicago Bears outside linebacker Khalil Mack will stay busy rushing the passer. The 2016 Defensive Player of the Year is a top five pass rusher in today's game. Ignore his 2019 season. This is a future Hall of Famer who will constantly push for the sacks title. But linebacker depth is needed, and we'd like to use different sets against different offenses. So give us Denver Broncos outside linebacker Von Miller, one of the most dynamic pass rushers the league has ever seen. We saw this guy take over the 2015 postseason, leading the Broncos to a Super Bowl 50 championship. My God. Miller was named MVP of the big game too. Ho <laughs> ho. Big guns. But for some reason, we're not satisfied enough with Wagner, Mack, and Miller. We have an empty hole that needs to be filled. That's what they said. We'd like at least two more linebackers in that hole, like most Instagram models. So let's start by adding Josh Allen of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The number seven pick from the 2019 draft turned in an excellent rookie year, recording 10.5 sacks and two forced fumbles. Hmm. Allen can play linebacker or defensive end. The versatility leaves us as an easy choice to pick him as our player from Duval County. And last but not least, we'll take Levante David of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's an elite tackler and simply one of the game's better linebackers in coverage. We would love to have him out there to complement all of our elite pass rushing linebackers. He's just the type of guy you'd want if you were asked to stop the following group of running backs. There were so many great backs to choose from here, but how can you pass up on Christian McCaffrey of the Carolina Panthers? In 2019, he joined Marshall Falk and Roger Craig as the only running back to hit 1,000 rushing yards and 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. Yeah, we want this do-it-all playmaker in our offense. But of course, we must also include Saquon Barkley of the New York Giants in our backfield. Barkley is more explosive in open space, and we love his ability to rip off a big run at any given time. And like Run CMC, very clever. Barkley is quite the game changer in the pass catching department as well. But we're not done yet. Give us 2019 rushing champion and Tennessee Titans star Derrick Henry. This guy was an unstoppable force in the playoffs. Taking the Titans all the way to the AFC Championship game. Knowing Henry can take over a big game at any given point. Maybe we'd have to make him our lead back over McCaffrey and Barkley. Well, not McCaffrey, but you know what I'm saying. So we have two flashy guys who can get involved in the passing game and a big bruising unstoppable force in Henry. You're gonna need quite the defensive line to stop these guys. Speaking of which, let's kick off our defensive line with who else but Aaron Donald of the Los Angeles Rams. We need the league's best and most dominant defensive player. Not only can he stop the run and overcome double teams from the offensive lineman, but he's also a consistent threat for double digit sacks every season. Don't worry though, we won't let you face too many double teams, Aaron. The opposition's offensive line will also have to account for Cincinnati Bengals defensive tackle Geno Atkins. I mean, good luck with this eight-time Pro Bowler and member of the NFL 2010's All-Decade team. Atkins went healthy, is good for double-digit sacks as well. Now that we're set at defensive tackle, let's figure out what we want at the ends of our D-line. Well, this is awfully easy. Before Donald came along, J.J. Watt of the Houston Texans held the title as the league's best defensive player. The dude won the 2012-2014 and 2015 Defensive Player of the Year award. My God, he's good. If healthy, this guy is always a threat for 20 sacks. There's been no better defensive end in this era than Watt. And if he's no longer the NFL's best defensive end, Perhaps the honor belongs to Miles Garrett of the Cleveland Browns. 
The first overall pick from the 2017 draft has been nothing short of consistent. 30.5 sacks in just 37 games through his first three NFL seasons. Wow. And he's only going to get better from here. And he's also got a mean swing. These two guys might get a little tired chasing down opposing quarterbacks all game. So it might be a good idea to find someone who can step in whenever they need a breather. How about Chase Young, the number two pick from 2020? He's a generational pass rusher who should soon challenge Donald for the title as the league's best defensive player. Now we feel a lot better about stopping the run and getting to the quarterback. But that's just one side of the ball. We still need to put together our offensive line. Because as we all know, many NFL games are won in the trenches, where these guys do all their dirty work aside from hotel bedrooms with Instagram models. The O-line construction starts with the Philadelphia Eagles' Jason Kelsey, who is arguably the best center in the game. Like a fine wine in Brandy Love, Kelsey is only getting better with age. He earned his third straight first-team All-Pro selection in 2019. He was the anchor of the Eagles' O-line that helped the team win Super Bowl 52. Kelsey is a nice start. Now we need two guards and two tackles. At guard, we're obviously taking Zach Martin of the Dallas Cowboys. He has been the model of consistency since entering the league in 2014. Six straight Pro Bowl selections, four first team and two second team all pro selections and hey he even earned a spot on the all decade team we're already feeling great about this o-line and we're still not done our second guard is none other than indianapolis colt star quentin nelson who's perhaps the best offensive lineman in the game right now two first team all pro nods in each of his first two seasons this dude allowed zero sacks in 2019 in fact he finished out the season on a 30 game streak without allowing a sack what more can you ask for from an O-line? At offensive tackle, we're definitely taking Green Bay Packers mainstay Devin Bakhtiari. He's the key cog of a stout Green Bay O-line that has kept Aaron Rodgers and the rushing game productive. My knee. Our O-line isn't complete, however, without Ronnie Stanley of the Baltimore Ravens. Without him, maybe Lamar Jackson doesn't win the 2019 MVP award. And maybe the Ravens don't set the single season record of 3,296 rushing yards. Stanley didn't allow a single sack in 2019, and he's only getting better. The Ravens are loaded with stars but it's hard to pass on Stanley, who might soon be the NFL's best offensive tackle. We're more than happy to take him to round out our offensive line and our perfect NFL roster. Oh wait, we forgot kickers. Um, Greg Zerline, cause f it. <laughs> what changes would you make to our perfect NFL roster? Join me in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and TPS and social media, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, run everything. Go follow my YouTube because I make dope videos all the time. And well, not all the time, not recently, but I'm going to make more soon. I think, I don't know, maybe we'll see. Uh, subscribe to TPS because new videos every day and you get to see me. And who doesn't want to see me? I'm like the coolest guy in the world. I'm so awesome. I'm so perfect. I'm not insecure at all. I'm, I'm perfect. I'm so perfect. Uh, yeah. Like this video too, because I know you did. And uh, yeah. Cheers. I'll see you next time. Aaron Rodgers, take us out. My knee.